Good evening. This is CTV News for Wednesday, June 28th. I'm Denise Douglas. And I'm Patricia Malone. Glad to have you with us tonight. Well, the two CSX workers that were killed by an Amtrak passenger train last night just north of Union Station were checking on a technical issue of their freight car after an automated alert was activated. The National Transportation Safety Board says the CSX train left Baltimore and was headed for the Union Station when dispatch prompted the crew to stop and check on the wheels. We know that last night sometime before 11.30 p.m., a CSX freight train headed out of Baltimore, was approaching Union Station when an alert was conveyed from dispatch, prompting the train to stop and the crew to disembark in order to check the status of the train prior to continuing. At some point, two crew members from the CSX train crossed onto an active track on which Amtrak was operating passenger trains. A southbound Amtrak train number 175 from Boston struck both CSX employees, causing fatal injuries. And a CSX engineer who remained on the freight train was not harmed. The names of the two workers who were fatally struck have not been yet released. Meantime, passengers on Amtrak were left stranded during the morning hours or tried to find alternate means to their destinations. Now, tracks were closed between D.C. and Philadelphia as police investigated the incident stifling rush hour traffic, including at Prince George's stations, such as New Carrollton. Oh, it's terrible. I left, I came into Union Station uh, and trying to catch the Baltimore pen to get to Baltimore. They delayed, they canceled trains from seven o'clock all the way down to now. So we had to get off of the, leave Union Station uh, catch the subway, metro, to here, and then we'll get back on tomorrow. It has been a hassle. I'm trying to get my plane out to L.A. I mean, I've already missed my plane as of now. Um, so right now I'm just trying to get to the airport. But they said that, um, I mean, all the trains have been delayed. What I've done so far, I'm coming from Union Station, so I've had to take the actual city um, train to get here, and that was three different stops. I've had to make various transfers. Um, and so now that I'm here, and I thought I was going to be able to take the Mark train up to the airport, it seems like all of the next three trains have been canceled and delayed. The Mark commuters also faced disruptions on the Penn and Camden lines. Many passengers had to use Metro as a replacement between stations. Trains resumed service just before 9 a.m., but Amtrak said they would run at restricted speeds and delays should be expected. The National Transportation Safety Board has given the state of Virginia a D when it comes to public safety. The report is based on policies that the states adopt to protect people from car crashes, fires, drownings, and drug overdoses. Both Maryland and D.C. scored better, receiving a B and an A, respectively. 36 states receive a grade of D or F. Well, the Prince George's Teachers Union says it's concerned that allegations of grade fixing will have a negative impact on the schools. Investigations are underway into accusations that educators routinely change grades in order to increase graduation rates. The union school CEO, the union, the school CEO Kevin Maxwell and lawmakers in Prince George's County Education Association support the probe. We represent over 10,000 mm. educators and we know by and large that our members our educators, the classroom teachers, um, work very hard every day to make sure that they're delivering quality education and instruction to the students of Prince George's County. And we are closely monitoring the situation mm -hmm. um, to find out, you know, what's actually happening and figuring out what's isolated versus what's widespread in these allegations and what's, what's true and what's not. Epps says the current policy makes it technically impossible for a teacher to change grades. Once they're published, teachers don't have the authority to change grades. 